Hey guys, welcome back everyone to the channel. So in this video, we will see the study of vibration of air column. And in this, the first case is pipe open at one end. So a pipe is open at one end and it is closed at the another end. So let's consider this pipe which is open at one end and closed at another end. So one thing we shall need to keep in mind is that wherever there is a closing there you will always get a node and wherever there is an opening you will always get an anti node so we know that there is a node over here node is over here and a anti node is over here so let's now consider a stationary wave we want an anti node over here that is the maximum displacement and a node over here which is the minimum displacement. So a stationary wave is a formation of basically two waves which, which are moving in opposite direction. One is I have shown one wave in the form of orange wave and another in the form of pink wave. So if you all see here carefully is that the length of air column is nothing but one fourth of the actual wavelength of this wave. A stationary wave is nothing but two loops of such waves. Over here you can see only a half loop. So the length of air column is nothing but equals to lambda by 4 why because there is only one fourth of the actual wave present over here this is not the complete wave it is just one fourth of it and now from this equation we get l is equals to lambda by 4 substitute in the length of air column as l we get l is equals to lambda by 4 taking 4 on the left hand side what we get is Lambda is nothing but equals to 4 into L. So this is the relation which we have obtained. Now we all know that the formula for velocity is nothing but equals to N into Lambda. So over here substituting the value of Lambda in this equation we get V is nothing but equals to 4 L into N. So from here we get the value of N which is nothing but equals to v upon 4l so this is what we have got the value of n for the first condition that is the first possibility of this wave so another possibility is that let us again consider the same closed end pipe the size of the pipe won't be changing the possibilities of waves will only change so we all know that a closed end we will always get a node and there is one more possibility that we might get another node over here so now let's draw a stationary wave Over here, what I have mentioned in the first one is that we get a node at the close end and an anti node at the open end. Over here, you can see that there is again an anti node at the open end and a node at a close end, and there is one more node present over here. So, over here, if you see the length of air column.
L is nothing but equals to three fourth of lambda. This is yet not a complete wave. A complete stationary wave consists of two loops like this. Over here we have one one loop, one complete loop, loop and another half complete loop. If you add one plus half, you will get three by four. This is what lambda. And now since here, if you see the wavelength is greater. And over here the wavelength has been shrinked a little bit, so we consider it to be lambda one. And now, from here, same, what we get is the value of lambda one is nothing but equals to four by three into L. And like the previous one, v is nothing but equals to n lambda. Now, here it is the n one. Since the since the lambda one has changed, we get n one over here. So now again, substituting the value of lambda, what we get is v is nothing but equals to n one into four by three into l. From this equation, we get the value of n one, which is nothing but equals to v by l into three by four. Now carefully observe this equation. Over here, n is nothing but equals to v upon four l. So, if you see over here, this term is nothing but v upon 4l. Substituting this term by n, what we get is n1 is nothing but equals to 3 into n. So this is another equation which we have obtained from the second condition. So this is the first condition where n is nothing but equals to 4 upon v upon 4l. And in this another condition, that is a possibility, we get n one is nothing but equals to three into n. There will be another one possibility which is possible. Let's consider the same pipe. As we all know, that the closed at the closed end we must get a node. And at the open end, we must get a anti node. And here we have seen that there is one node in between. Now let's consider one possibility that there might be two nodes in between. So let's consider this and this to be two nodes present. So now let's draw the stationary wave. And at the open end, we will get a anti node, that is a maximum vibration. So this is a stationary wave, and yet another possibility is what we have obtained over here. The length of air column L is nothing but equals to, since there is one whole stationary wave present over here, that is, it consists of two loops. So lambda plus one fourth of lambda. So over here we get L is nothing but equals to after adding one by four plus one we get five lambda by two upon four. Obtaining the value of lambda by two from here we get four L upon five. Now we know that the formula for velocity is nothing but equals to n into lambda over here n two into lambda two. Substituting the value of lambda two in this equation, we get v is nothing but equals to n two into four by l five. So from this equation, if you see carefully, we get the value of n two as five v upon four l. And now from this first condition. N is equals to v upon 4l. Substituting substituting this v upon 4l as n, we get n2 is nothing but equals to 5 times n. So with three possibilities of pipe open at one end and closed at another end, we have got three equations. That is, in the first possibility, we have got n is equals to 4 upon n v upon 4l. And in the second possibility, we have got n one is equals to three times n. That is three times the first possibility. And in the third possibility, 
we have got n2 as n2 is the frequency of the third possibility as five times the possibility of five times the frequency of the first possibility so from this we can conclude that n is to n1 is to n2 and so on is nothing but equals to 1 is to 3 is to 5 that is all odd numbers are the possible factors over here and since there are only odd numbers so there will be only odd harmonics present as overtones in a mode of vibration of air column closed at one end. So, in general, for the pth overtone, we can conclude the formula as NP is nothing but equals to 2P plus 1 into N. So, guys, thanks for watching the video and please do like and subscribe the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and in the next video we will do pipe closed at both uh, sorry pipe open at both the ends so please do subscribe to the channel and in the channel you will find all the videos of 11th and 12th science as well as engineering